Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I just wanted to have a quick look at uh, trimming a few dead bits off my uh, pink mould oven mulberry. Um, just wanted to have a look at it and see what dead growth there was and what needed cutting back, because it looks like it's had some dieback on it uh, this winter, and there's also quite a few branches that have been damaged. Now these could have been damaged by these could have been damaged by the winds but I'm actually more inclined to think that it's birds causing the damage by landing on it um, or indeed squirrels because I've seen the squirrels uh, messing around with the plants as well um, now the only down, the only thing I don't like about this mulberry particularly is this strange growth I wanted it to sort of branch out this is the graft area down here and I wanted it to branch out which it has done but then we've got a long patch of bare stem where there are no branches at all and it's not easy to see what I'm going to do about that um, I don't think there is much I can do except prune it back um, just trim the branches back a bit and hope that it stimulates it into producing uh, some more lower down branches because I'd really like it just to be a well branched tree lower down I, I'm not growing it into a standard or anything like that it has suffered some die back here from the main stem that was originally cut back uh, but that doesn't seem to have spread any further than this branch here so basically all I'm going to do is take off any dead plants stems I'm going to take them back back to the uh, this one I won't take back all the way because it might branch out but ones like this I'm going to take back to the union and it looks like it's got some die back on there so I might take that back to a slant as well now this one is green so I don't think there's any need to cut back any further it's just this bit above it that seems to have died off I hate getting those, uh, I'll do that with scissors after so I hate getting those damaged bits. So that looks okay. Um, these tips here seem to be okay at the moment. There's another uh, dead bit here, but actually this is growing in the wrong, this is growing across there, which is no good. So I might just take it back to an outward facing bud, which might not be outward facing we'll see this branch here looks completely dead yeah so I'm going to take that right back to what looks like a green bud still um, this one's dead yeah it's difficult to know now this this branch here looks completely dead so I'm just going to cut a bit off to have a look and see if it is yeah that's uh, that one there, you can probably just about see what I'm doing. That's dead down to about here, so I'm going to take that back again to let's walk around the other side. This branch looks fine. I'm just going to take it to an angle across here and see if it still looks. Uh, yeah, even there it's dead. Take it back to here. Got some green growth there so that looks okay this little piece here yeah that's dead so that might as well come back to there this one here is dead that can come out in fact i'll take that right back to the edge dead not in the right direction the top of this one here looks dead down to here so i'm going to take that off Seems to have suffered quite badly from dieback in places this winter, this uh, this particular mulberry. Um, not sure what's caused that. I think it's because it needs repotting, so I'm going to uh, repot it in a minute as well. But I just sort of trim now. These lower branches here, I don't actually mind them being here, but I do think that I need to take them back to encourage them to branch out a little bit more it'll be used to handle it when it's repotting so I think I'll probably do the same with this one as well and that's green so that should be okay I think this one is dead all the way down to nearly the base yeah so actually I'm going to take that off at an angle like that and I hope 
that will branch out there again. This one also appears to be, uh, there's a little bit of green growth there, so I'm hoping this will send out branches. We will see. A little bit of rot on that. Anyway, I did try the trick of making a score mark uh, above, if you can see. I did try when I, a couple of years ago making a score mark above the bark because this was supposed to make these buds come out the side. Um, and none of that worked because I was hoping to get a branch or two coming out here so I had more of a sort of a bushy tree rather than a half standard tree. Anyway, I just thought I'd quick to, quickly do a video on trimming off the bits and pieces. Actually, I'm now seeing this bit looks, this little branch here looks dead as well. So I think that can go. It's got a bit of green at the bottom, but that's not really uh, any use. Uh, this should shoot out like mad. They're, they're pretty vigorous, these mulberries. Um, as I said, this is, a, uh, this is the pink mould oven. And it, they're actually white with a nice pinky purple tinge to them. But I thought they might interest in it, someone uh, what I was doing with my mulberries now and we're in March. Thanks for watching, much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. Obviously you can share the video if you think it's any use to anybody. Please subscribe to my channel and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to see updates on these plants throughout the summer. I'll catch up in your next video. Brett out for now.